Today I think I need to talk about why I quit Kate. I have talked a lot about my time as a sex worker and the reason I do is because I own that and I think it was very instrumental in me healing and learning and growing throughout my life. I am not trying to convince anybody of this. It's my personal journey. It's my personal thought. I've done a lot of reflecting on this. I've done a lot of therapy. I've done a lot of psychedelics and I've just done a lot of meditating and yeah. So I want to talk, I've talked a lot about Kate, but I want to talk about why I quit. And I quit because I just simply couldn't exchange energy with people in that level anymore. And as I grew more spiritually, I realized that an energy exchange with people, um, especially those that you maybe don't know, um, is not always a good thing for you. And I didn't want to exchange energy with people that I didn't want to exchange energy with anymore. And um, I was sexually abused as a child. And I always n n wanted to be or thought I would become a sex worker even as a child. So after I had my awakening, I wasn't really able to see any, I mean, I wasn't able to work. I wasn't able to sell houses. I wasn't able to seek people as clients. I supported myself off of my life savings, which is gone. And, um, you know, I'm not necessarily in my next phase yet, um, but I needed to quit Kate because I didn't want to exchange energy with people in that way anymore. And, Quite honestly, my feelings on sex, especially since I've had an awakening, is just that it's kind of unnecessary. I think it's very kind of low vibrational, actually. Um, I It doesn't do anything for me um, in a way that I guess some people would. I just, I don't have a lot of sexual urges. 49 years old, that could have a lot to do with it hormones and the changes of life and all of that um, but also it's just that I was a very broken person who had a lot of sex and I consider sex to be kind of broken and um, I have a partner now and actually he was pretty instrumental in helping me quit um, he told me that he couldn't have sex with somebody who was having sex with other people and I was like cool then we won't have sex because sex was a way for me to make money and um, I needed to make money and uh, after a couple of days of us not speaking I realized that a lot of times the universe has a way to talk to you and sometimes it's through other people so even though I didn't like what he was saying um, after a couple of days, I was like, you know, I've had this spiritual awakening and I think the universe is talking through you and I want you to know that I'm not quitting because of what you're saying. I'm quitting because I think the universe was talking through you. So, um, it's not up to you to tell me what to do, but I do think the universe is trying to push me along and to, to not do that. So. It's been about a year since I've seen my last client, I suppose, maybe a little longer. And um, because I'm not where I'm, I want to be, because I've not grown into this new role, and because I still need to live in this society that requires money and things to, to support yourself, um, I'm struggling financially because I'm not Kate anymore. And in addition to that, I also quit real estate um, because I live in a trailer. I live in an RV and um, I needed to be in nature. Ne nature was ve very healing for me. And I couldn't be in Las Vegas anymore because it wasn't healing for me. So um, I have a Nevada real estate broker's license. I was a real estate broker. I own my own company and I've closed that. So it's weird because I'm in this, I'm just in this, like, it's not limbo. I'm just not actually where I'm supposed to be yet. I'm not, I'm getting there every day. It's a journey. It's a path. I'm on my way. I'm transitioning into the new me, but 
it's hard because I look back and I'm like, man, I used to make really good money and now I don't. And money's not everything. And I had very, very bad relationship, a very, very bad relationship with money, like very bad. And I had a toxic relationship with money. So I think actually what needed to happen on my journey was for me to be broke. And I know that that sounds crazy, but I just look at life a lot differently than I ever used to. And that's a lot different than most people look at life. And um, I know that after having, you know, a good year of really being broke, um, I mean, I haven't bought so much as a t-shirt. I think I bought one t-shirt all year. And um, Anders and I just, Anders just took me to the thrift store and we bought a whole bunch of t-shirts because my clothes are wearing out. And I've never had that situation before. But like, I live in this trailer and all of my stuff is in storage and I can't get to it and I have clothes there, but they're piled in the back. And it's just been a lot. It's just been a lot. It's been fucking hard. Like, it's not just leaving leaving sex work, it's leaving real estate and everything in my the, the life that I used to live. And I'm not there yet. And I had this friend that was really wealthy. And he was, I used to sh talk, talk to him throughout like every couple of months. And I'd be like, this is what's happening. And he's like, wow, that's a really interesting story. And um, all of this stuff. And I really thought he was gonna help me and he didn't, okay? And he didn't and it's fine because that was also a lesson that I needed. And and it's like, now I'm trying to tell my story and, and I get shit on by a bunch of fucking people that don't even know me, calling me dirty and that's a, 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 a wild spin you're putting on it. And it's like, you judgmental piece of mother I have no business commenting on it, on my life, and you have no foot to stand on. And as much as I don't want that to affect me, I still have to put a barrier around me and I still have to see it, you know? And it's like, what I understand about people after having gone through this whole situation and having been very authentic about my life is that people fucking suck. People suck. And more people suck than the more than good people because there is no reason somebody should be commenting on my very personal journey and telling me that I'm a dirty woman fuck off really just fuck off because you have no fucking clue and no leg to stand on and all you want is the attention because you're a miserable piece of crap so I hope you have a nice day and get the healing you need.